So good morning. Today we have um LG 42 inch. Um, customer complaint was hearing song, but no pit here. But um, before shooting this video, I already checked. Um, the backlight is working, so I'm gonna put it on here now. So you can clearly see the backlight. It's on. But no pit here. Okay. So I'm gonna check to see why it is we get in this issue here. Get it light on. Okay, so. I'm going to test some voltages on the TCON. Uh, going to do that under the microscope so you could see. First, um, let's check for shorts. Okay, going under the microscope now. So what we're looking at here is the T-con board. This is the connector for the LVDS cable. And first thing I want to check is the fuse. Uh, I want to check to see if the fuse is blown. So let's check. And the fuse is blown. Not getting anything on the fuse here. And the next thing I want to check is this capacitor right here. And let's see if it's short to the ground. And it is. It is short to the ground. So that capacitor looks like it has a hole piece of it looks like it's missing let's try to focus focus yes it looks bad so that is a culprit um, next I want to check this coil here because I know the 12 volts comes to this coil so let's check the coil and it is shorted. And this capacitor as well is shorted. So we're gonna check that capacitor and this capacitor here. Alright, so I'll just add some solder to the base of the capacitor here. Will help for it to come off easier. Use the heat gun. Okay, so I use the heat gun here. Cut this in. Alright, so this is the capacitor here. 
Let's check it for short. And it is shorted. So this here is the problem. So this capacitor is the problem. Let's check the next capacitor to the end. And the short is gone. See? No more shorts. So this was the problem here, this capacitor. So um, I will have to replace that capacitor. Um, I have a lot of those sizes in stock, but um, my any value will be the issue. Um, so what I may have to do is make like a wild guess. I have some um, donor boards for a lot of T-cons, so I, I will just like read the value off of one that is coming in with the 12 volts there and use that as a guide. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the capacitor to the end next to the coil because they both share the same voltage rail and I'll read the value from that capacitor to replace the capacitor that is shorted. Just get the reading. Alright, so what is the reading here? We are getting it's jumping all over the place. It's not making any sense. Alright, so I'll have to take the capacitor out of circuit and um, read it. So give me a minute. Um, see how fast I can do this. All right, so let's get the read in here. Zero. Let's zero out the meter and check the microfarad. Alright, so it is about 10, about 10, 10 to 11 microfarads. Alright, so let's check to see if we could get the closest value and size. So from the kit here, There is a 10 microfarad at 16 volts. The size is a 106. So let's look for that size. This is. So this is the 106 size here. So you'll see the size under the microscope. Let's get the microscope here. So this is the size of the new capacitors and this is the old one. Let's see they are the exact same size. And we're gonna replace it with a new capacitor. So let's just clean up the pads here. Yes, I could do it some high quality sort of wick.
right so you will check for shorts make sure there are no shorts let's check the fuse make sure the fuse is good and it's good and no more shorts okay so we will install the ticker now and make sure it's working Okay, um, so let's check the fuse twelve volts, eleven point four five. After the fuse, 11.45, let's check the capacitor and we have the same voltages on the capacitor. I'm not too sure if we get input here but um, I'll turn around the TV now and see if the T-con was repaired. Let's take the TV off. Alright, so let's power on the TV. And I saw the LG logo. And focus, focus. Alright, on the TV, it's repaired. TV is working. And just have to focus. And the TV is fixed. Turn the light on. Alright, so this was a successful repair, thanks for viewing, and this customer will be happy to know that they don't have to replace the TV again, because it was told to them that it don't make sense repairing. So I hope you enjoy watching this video, and that's it for the day.